let's solve this problem here. The sum of three numbers is 855. One of the numbers x is 50% more than the sum of the other two numbers. What is the value of x? It says here that one of the three numbers is x. So we let x as our first number and then y our second number and z our third number and let's write this mathematical sentence into a mathematical equation the sum of three numbers is 855 therefore we just have to add up x y and z so that would be x plus y plus z equals 855 and then the second sentence is one of the numbers x is 50% more than the sum of the other two numbers. So that would be x equals y plus z plus 50% of y plus z. So we can write this as y plus z plus 0.5 y plus z times y plus z and then we factor out y plus z then we have one the coefficient of this is considered one one plus 0 0.5 then we can write this as x equals 1.5 times y plus z. So now we have two equations here. And we can solve for the value of x. And now we can write um, the second equation in terms of y plus z. So that would be, so we can write this as okay. y plus z is just equal to x over 1.5 and now we can substitute the value of y plus z to the first equation here so let's do that x plus y plus z equals 855 and y plus z is just equal to x over 1.5. So that is x plus x over 1.5 equals 855. And then we multiply both sides by 1.5. We have 1.5x plus x equals 855 times 1.5 then 1.5x plus x is just equal to 2.5x and 855 times 1.5 is just 1282.5 and 1 then we divide both sides by 2.5 so we can solve for the value of x so x is just equal to 513 so our answer here is letter B, 513. Let's solve another problem here. The angles shown above are acute and sine A degrees is equal to cosine B degrees. If A is equal to 4K minus 22 and B equals 6K minus 13, what is the value of K? Since the angles here are acute and sine of A degrees is just equal to cosine of b degrees then this follows the complementary angle property of sines and cosines which says that the sine of an angle is equal to the cosine of its complementary angle and the co-function of complementary angles are equal so if let's recall that if a and b are complementary angles 
or are complementary, which means the sum of A plus B is equal to 90 degrees, then sine of A is just equal to cosine of B, or tangent of A is equal to cotangent B. Okay, since this follows the complementary angle property, then we can use this one, A plus B equals 90. So we have here our angles A and B. So that would be A plus B equals 90 degrees. Then we can just plug in the value of A and B to this equation. So A is just equal to 4K minus 22 plus 6K minus 13 equals 90 degrees. And then we group like terms. 4K goes with 6K. So 4K plus 6K is just 10K. Then negative 22 and negative 13. We add them up. So that is negative 35 minus 35 equals 90 degrees. And then we add 35 to both sides. This cancels out. So we have we have 10k equals 90 plus 35. 90 plus 35 is just equal to 125, and we divide both sides by 10. Therefore, k is just equal to 12.5. So our answer here is letter C, 12.5.